Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how we can pass objects between fragments using SafeArgs and Navigation Component. So I'm just going to document the current state of my app. So I have a list screen here with a list of Pokemon and then when you click on one of these Pokemon it navigates to the detail screen. While this is happening it's passing an object called custom Pokemon list item to the screen and then using the values within that object to lay out all of this UI. If you want to know how to create this app for yourself, I have a full guide for this which I'll put in the description, but this video is just going to be on navigation. The custom Pokemon list item is shown here. It's a passable object, so at the moment I'm passing it using a bundle. This can be seen in the list fragment where I set a click listener onto the recycler view and I create a bundle, put the Pokemon in using a key which is just Pokemon and then we use the navigation controller to navigate to the detail fragment. In the detail fragment I'm checking um, whether the argument is not null and then I'm getting a passable object of custom Pokemon list item with the key Pokemon and then again checking if it's not null and then assigning that to po the Pokemon and laying out the screen. Now there's a few reasons why you want to do this via SafeArgs instead of this old method. Firstly, there's a few no che null checks which we can avoid. So we will not need to check whether the arguments is null or not because the idea is you shouldn't be able to get to this screen without the Pokemon object once we've defined it in our navigation. You also will not need to check if this Pokemon item exists or whether it is no or not, because we can just assume that it is as we are making sure in our navigation. So firstly, before you can do this, you need to make sure you have the correct dependencies. So you need to declare the plugin, Android X Navigation SafeArgs Kotlin, you need to make sure you have these two dependencies in your build.gradle file. The nav version is 2.4.2, .2, which is shown here. All this code will be in the description as well. And you also need to make sure you have this class path here, Android X navigation, navigation safe args, dash gradle plugin. Once you've done that and you've synced the project, you can head over to your nav graph and I've already got my fragments in here. If they are not, you can click this plus button here and add a new destination and you can just type in the name and it will appear here and you can just add it onto the screen. The navigation graph is found underneath navigation in the res directory. So we need to go to our detail screen. This is the screen that will accept the argument. We're going to click on the plus icon. We're going to give the name Pokemon. The type will be custom passable. It will then search our code base for any passable objects. We have custom Pokemon list item. Click OK and click add. Then in the list fragment, all we do instead of passing the bundle, we just need to change this direction here to list fragment directions dot action list fragment to detail fragment. We no longer need the bundle and we can see that this method is expecting a Pokemon or a custom Pokemon list item object. And we just need to pass it in, which is the item. We can get rid of this bundle here. And get rid of this comment. Now on the detail fragment side, we just need to initialize the Pokemon. We no longer need to do arguments.let or it don't get passable custom Pokemon list item. All we do is just define our navigation args up here. So private val navigation args. 
and this will be detail fragment arcs by nav arcs. And now we can initialize the Pokemon object. So m Pokemon equals navigation arcs dot Pokemon. And we can get rid of most of this here. And just make sure the code is aligned. And just make sure all of these variables are correct. And now we can rerun the app and we just make sure that the navigation works correctly. So the app is loaded back up, so we haven't got any runtime errors. The list is loaded. And if we click on one of these items, we can see we can navigate to this screen correctly and all of the data of our Pokemon is shown. If we navigate back and just select another item, we can see this one is shown as well and everything is working absolutely fine. So that'll be it for this video guys. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe.